Hey beauties, it's your girl Brittany and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're not new, then welcome back. Um, so today I'm going to answer a question that I get asked all of the time, like all of the time, and that is why do I or why did I color my natural hair? So for starters, my hair is now um, a honey blonde color. This is a ponytail. Um, if you haven't checked out my recent video on my drawstring faux high puff, then I'll leave that link in the description box so you can check that out. But my hair is a like honey blonde color. Um, I dyed it a few months ago. Wait. So I dyed my hair about eight or nine months ago in September and I dyed it, um, I just kind of did like blonde highlights throughout my hair. Um, and then a few months ago I went back in and I wanted my hair to just get more blonde. So my mom actually colored it for me and added more blonde to it. Um, I did have a little breakage because I had just colored my hair, but I mean, I figured that would happen. Um, but really, I just, I love the versatility of natural hair. Like, that's why I went natural. And I've started getting color since my sophomore year in high school. And my mom always told me, like, if you want to get color, make sure that you're taking care of your hair. You're not getting relaxers. Like, you're deep conditioning every week. Like, make sure you're taking these steps. And that's what I did. And so each time that I colored my hair, yes, I have had some times where I've gotten a lot of breakage. I mean, who doesn't? Or I've gotten some damage. Um, but in reality, my hair was damaged severely from when I was getting relaxers. So coloring my hair wasn't going to do much to it. Um, I did have a little breakage, but as long as I took care of my hair, like I didn't experience a lot. So um, I did color my hair again, and it's doing great. It's still growing, it's still healthy, it's still like A1, day one, ain't no problems. We we good, we, we in there. So um, really I just, I like to color my hair because because of the versatility I like to be able to have blonde hair if I want or black hair if I want or brown or purple or blue or pink or whatever I want to do and I just live by the philosophy that it's just hair like my hair doesn't define who I am so the color that my hair is or if my hair becomes bald because I'm coloring it it doesn't affect me because my hair doesn't define me. So that's the reason why I color my hair. Um, I really just kind of like to switch it up and you know, I go through different things, different stages, different phases. So sometimes I kind of want a hair to match my new attitude. So that's just, that's just what it is. And color is kind of addicting. Like once you start, it's really kind of hard to stop. So I'm kind of at a point where I don't really want to stop. <laughs> But um, I do, you know, with coloring my hair, I do make sure that I deep condition my hair every week. You know, I do do protein treatments, um, cholesterol treatments to make sure that my hair is strong. I make sure that my hair stays moisturized so that, you know, although my hair is colored, it's protected, it's not getting damaged. And if you do have your hair colored or if you are thinking about coloring your hair, you want to make sure that you're taking those precautions. And even before you get your hair colored, make sure your hair, you know, you're in that routine of deep conditioning and moisturizing because what you don't want is to go into getting your hair colored and it's already damaged. And then, you know, once they apply that bleach or whatever, all your hair gets fried off. Like that's, you know, if that's, you know, if you don't really want to walk around with a bald head, then that's your preference. Me. I don't really care so <laughs> um, I actually want to cut my hair which that's another question I get asked all of the time why are you cutting your hair why do you want to cut your hair um, the last time that I got my hair colored I actually cut off about two inches and with that cut my hair like turned around tremendously like it's my my curls have been more popping, they've been more defined, my hair has been like retaining more moisture, my styles have looked better. Um, so cutting your hair is really good. And like I said, my hair doesn't define me, so I don't really have a problem with cutting my natural hair. Um, I actually have a goal of when I get down to like butt length, I wanna shave all of my hair off. 
and I just want to start the natural process over. Like I said, my hair was really damaged from getting relaxers and putting heat on it every week and just, it was just, it's, I mean, it's still kind of damaged, but it's come a long way. Um, so I just want to start over fresh and people always ask me like, your hair is so beautiful, it's so long, you know, you have so much, why would you want to cut all of that off? Because it's my hair and because that's what I want to do. <laughs> And if possible, I actually would love to donate my hair or make it into a wig and give it to someone who, you know, doesn't have any hair because of cancer or any other health reasons. Um, so that's my reasoning for coloring my hair and wanting to cut my hair. Your hair is your hair. My hair is my hair. You know, everyone has their own preferences, their own ideals. And these are just my ideas and what I like for me personally. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about coloring your natural hair, if you want to color yours and you're just kind of unsure or iffy, leave those comments down or those questions down in the comment section and I'll definitely answer. Like I said, I've had my hair colored since a sophomore in high school. I've gone through everything from platinum blonde to, you know, darker colors, having my hair fried off to having my hair be completely healthy. So if you have any questions about, you know, how to maintain that color or what to do before getting color, or if you just have any reservations about hair color, just leave those reservations down in the comment section and I will do my best to answer those questions to the best of my ability. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to your girl down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Deuces beauties.